What is going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all some tips and tricks on how to make the day go by faster and how to pass time at Amazon. Because you know, a lot of the time you're just sitting there with your own thoughts. You're very, very bored. If you're doing this like five or six days a week, especially during peak right now, if you're doing this for like five or six days a week, 10 hours a day, it can get really, really, really boring and very tiring and overall just mentally frustrating. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you all some tips on how to get through this. Before we get started, go ahead and join my Discord down in the link in the description below, follow my socials. But with that being said, let's get on with tip number one. So this first tip is something that once I figured out how to do really and really got into the groove of doing this more often, this will help you a lot. Tip number one is to divide your day into three separate periods, not just 10 straight hours divide your day into three periods. And what I mean by that, so if you work at Amazon, if you work the 10 hour shifts or the 12 hour shifts, you'll know that you have two breaks. So for my, for example, my first break is at 10, 15 a.m. So I get there at seven, my first break is at 10, 15 a.m. And then my second break is at 2, 15 p.m. I think, yeah, it's at 2, 15 p.m. So what I do is instead of going in and thinking, like let's say it's like 9 a.m. Instead of going in and thinking, oh, I still have like eight hours left of the day. This, is, this day is going by so slow. Instead of doing it like that and thinking Thinking of it as a whole 10 hour shift what I like to do and what I've seen other people do as well is just mentally divide the day up so instead of thinking about it like that think of the first period think or think of the first three hours the first three hours and 15 minutes because that's how long my first period is think of that as one period instead of thinking of it as 10 hours so you would think if it's 9 a.m. instead of thinking dang I still got eight hours left to work are you serious instead of thinking about it like that think of it as oh man I only have like an hour left until this first period is over that's awesome like just think about it like that trust me doing this maybe and maybe this won't help for everyone but from my personal experience and I've seen it on the reddit as well this helps a lot of people out it makes the day go by so much faster if you divide the day up into three different periods the the period before your first break the period before your second break and then the period before you leave if you divide it up like that you're basically it honestly for me it makes me feel like I'm only working three different shifts but in the same day so you're you're working the first third the first three hours the second three hours and the third three hours once you finish with the second period and you only have three hours left you're like dang like today's gone by much faster do this trick and it will definitely help you you can also think about it like this as well for me once it gets like 9 45 because my first break is at 10 15 once it becomes 9 45 i feel like the time just starts flying until break so when you can think about it like this if it's like 9 45 and your break is at 10 15 just be like i only got 30 minutes left till break and like honestly this time's about to go by super fast because break's already here like for me once it's like 9 45 i feel like the shift is already over and I feel like if more people looked at it this way, it would make the day go by so much faster. So first tip, divide the day into three periods. Don't think of it as 10 straight hours. Think, think of it as like three different shifts that are all three hours long. Think of it like that. Tip number two, you have a lot of free time at Amazon with your thoughts. Your mind is constantly working at Amazon but you also have a lot of free time to think about anything because of your course, if you're just sitting there stowing or sitting there picking or on dock, you're doing things that eventually become like driving. You don't even have to think about it or like riding a bike, something that just comes easy. It's muscle movement at that point. That's how, that's how easy working at Amazon is. But my second tip though is to create a business plan or maybe an outside project or anything like that or just find a way to get out of Amazon. Find a way to start or start thinking of a way to get out of Amazon and get to a better job. That is some really, really great advice in my opinion. For me, it has really, really helped me because when I first started working at Amazon, it was really, really boring to just sit there all day and do nothing. But eventually, if you gotta think about it. Most people don't have this much free time mentally. Most people don't have like 10 hours a day to just think about literally nothing and just do movements. It's like if you were driving for 10 hours straight, like you have so much free time on your mind. In my opinion, my and my advice, you should use this free time to think of a good business plan. Maybe think of a good way or like maybe a new invention or something, something you can invent so you can start making money off of. Maybe think of a business to start. What do you like doing? What are your hobbies? Do you like cooking, for example? Maybe you could think of a way to open a restaurant or start a restaurant. In my case, it was YouTube. I have, I come up with a bunch of my video ideas and all of my thoughts and plans and processes for these videos at work because I have so much free time. If I have this much free time, why wouldn't I be using it to make money outside of Amazon? So find ways, you know, to make money outside of Amazon. Think of business ideas. Think of just a bunch of business plans or ideas 
or even like I said earlier, think of a way to get out of Amazon. Think about what your next plan is. Maybe you can sign up for school. Maybe you can use Amazon college plan and get yourself into a school so you could start working towards a degree. Maybe you want to uh, think about how you're gonna find another job. Maybe you could practice, like mentally practice for an interview inside your own mind, something like that. Think of many, many ways to either get out of Amazon or find a business plan or just anything like that that'll get that'll help you be a better person and have more goals outside of Amazon definitely definitely I think you should do that I think it's a great idea it's definitely helps me get through my shifts when I know I have so much work for YouTube and so much things to do for YouTube and I'm constantly coming up with video ideas it's very very helpful very beneficial so definitely number two create a business plan or come up with ideas to get out of Amazon now number three is very very helpful for those who maybe don't have to use the restroom so much I know there's people who have have to use the restroom more often than others but if you are one of the people who don't use the restroom that much and, and don't really have to worry about the 30 minute TOT limit this will definitely be beneficial for you and I think that this tip will help you out a lot in terms of making the day go by faster and my advice is save your TOT like if you don't have to use the restroom a lot save your TOT and just take a break like 10 minutes before break because this will basically extend your break so what I mean by that is like if it's like 10 o'clock so my of course my break is at 10 15 so if it's like 10 a.m and i haven't used any tot and i have zero minutes of tot you could just you have 30 minute limit per day so you could just use 10 minutes of that before your break so I, what i would do is i would maybe like at 9 55 i would just sit down or go to the break room and just relax on your phone just chill hang out of course don't do this if your rate is like really low or like you're in danger of falling below the five percent please don't do that if that's your case but if you if you know you're in the middle of the leaderboards or like in the top 75 percent definitely like at 9 55 go ahead just chill out sit down at your station or maybe you can go to the break room. it's probably safer to just go to the break room you know just hang out on your phone relax a little bit for like 10 minutes make sure you're back in time so you could scan some more items right before break that way it doesn't look like you just took like a, a long long extended break but go ahead and do that use 10 save your time save your time off task all day and every time before break just take 10 minutes just take a little 10 minute break just to relax and get on your phone or just chill maybe take like a short tiny power nap like maybe like a two minute power nap or something just go to the break room and enjoy yourself. Do this every single time before a break or maybe you could save up all 30 minutes and take like a 20 minute or a 30 minute break before you leave, before you clock out. If you do it that way, what you're doing is extending your breaks. So you're making your breaks feel a lot longer and this makes the, the day fly by so much faster. It makes it go by so much easier if your breaks are extended. So instead of like a 30 minute break, you're getting like a 40 minute break because you know you get that 10 minute rest period before your actual break so if you could save your tot you know if you don't need to use the restroom a lot or anything like that you could save your tot go ahead and use it right before your break or maybe save it all up and use it right before the end of your day just make sure you don't for example make sure you don't actually like if, if it's your second break your unpaid break make sure that you don't go 10 minutes and then immediately go to break you need to make it to where you can come back and scan at least a couple of items so you're not getting break compliance and so you go you can go to break so basically like do it like 15 minutes before your break take like a 10 minute break period and then with those five minutes do a couple more items and then go to your break officially because if you do it the other way you will get written up for, uh, for either for tot or break compliance one of those two but definitely definitely do that it makes the day go by so much easier my next tip tip number four now this one might not be available to a lot of you but if it is if your manager if you have a really really chill manager or maybe your entire site is really really chill i think that they would definitely be helpful to just pop a pop an earbud in if possible now of course a lot of locations are really really strict about this but every time i bring this up in a video i get so many comments from people saying my site doesn't care about headphones at all and i see it on reddit all the time a lot of people's sites don't care about headphones at all of course we're still if you're still in 2021 this will apply to you because we are still allowed to bring our headphones into the facility or our phones in general into the facility so if your site is one of the ones that doesn't really care if you have really chill managers who do not care this is i mean this is a no-brainer pop some headphones in listen to an audiobook listen to music listen to podcasts listen to anything that will help get your day going by faster and will help keep your brain occupied instead of just sitting there mindless and boring and just getting really really frustrated of being there definitely if your site is chill make sure your site is okay with it though make sure your managers are cool with it and definitely don't just do it and risk it all like don't pop a headphone in without asking anybody if it's okay at least talk to somebody or maybe get the vibe of the room and see if 
if your facility is chill. My facility was one of the ones that they will walk around and make sure that you're not on your headphones. And if they, if you are, they'll write you up. I've seen a change in that lately because there's so many people that have been using their headphones at my facility lately. Like, and they don't even hide it either. They're, those people are just sitting there not hiding their headphones at all. So I've seen this a lot more frequently. And if your site is like that and they're cool with it, you know, it, it's a no brainer. Pop the headphone in, only one for safety reasons, but just pop a headphone in and enjoy the rest of your day. This having music or a podcast or audiobooks will definitely, definitely help you get through your day so much faster and it'll make the day easier. But again, only if your site is cool with it. I know not a lot of sites are like that, but there is some, and I every time that I say like, that they don't allow phones and headphones and stuff because that is true they don't they don't want you to be on your phones but every time i say that i always get comments saying my site doesn't care so there has to be a lot of sites out there that don't care so i would definitely recommend doing that if your site doesn't care and my final tip for you all tip number five this one unfortunately won't apply to everyone like especially if you're a picker who picks at like an arsal station it'll definitely be really difficult to do this but if you're a stower or a ship dock worker or anything like that where you have people next to you my advice would be and of course you have to be less introverted than for this but my advice would be just strike a conversation with the person next to you at this like if you're a stower strike a conversation with the person at the station next to you i see it all the time i always see two people who have maybe never talked before at stow stations they just start talking and talk throughout the entire day it makes the day go by so much faster if you're able to talk to somebody and you know it's it just makes the day go by faster if you're able to conversate with somebody you're able to keep yourself a little bit more entertained instead of you know just sitting there thinking about whatever all day my advice would definitely be just strike a conversation with the person next to you of course if you're a little bit more introverted like myself this this is more difficult but you could probably find something to talk about maybe they're wearing something cool maybe like i one day i wore my aew hoodie for those who don't know aew is like a wrestling show and the guy next to me he recognized the hoodie and we talked about we talked about wrestling for like an hour straight and he brought it up so maybe you could find something that somebody is wearing or maybe you could just talk about literally anything just bring something up something up with them it'll definitely help the day go by faster it's also kind of like tip number four where it's kind of a no-brainer of course you should do it but i just want to give that advice out there and if you're a little bit more introverted and you're not comfortable maybe this is a way to get out of your comfort zone and maybe a way to learn some more social skills i know i need social skills so this would definitely help me i should probably take my own advice here definitely definitely just try to strike a conversation with the person next to you it'll help the day go by faster it'll entertain not only you but the person next to you as well um, but just know your boundaries as well make make sure this person definitely wants to talk to you if they don't want to talk to you if you if you could see that they have a headphone in or that they just want to mind their own business or something like that definitely try to you know back off and maybe not um, like annoy them too much but if they seem open to a conversation go ahead and talk to them it'll make the day go by faster it's not like you're not allowed to talk at amazon you're allowed to talk to your co-workers however much you want as long as you can keep your rate up and all that i don't see the problem with it so definitely do that it'll definitely help by the way we're in christmas time now you got the christmas tree uh you can see a little bit over there there's a little christmas tree over there on our entertainment center that's not the main christmas tree but i just kind of wanted to show you guys my setup real quick and show you that we're working with the christmas stuff now i am going to get like this main area of my setup right there i'm going to get that decorated i'm going to go buy decorations as soon as i can because I love Christmas. For those who don't know, Christmas is my favorite holiday ever. So I'm going to try to decorate as much as possible. We're not done decorating our apartment yet, but we're, we're getting there. But I mean, yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. I kind of just wanted to bring it up. I hope you guys enjoyed those tips. If you did, leave a like and subscribe down below. And comment down below if you have any tips to help get people through their shifts. Let me know in the comments down below. Again, subscribe if you did enjoy this video. I make all types of Amazon content. And yeah, big announcement coming at the end of this year. I hope you guys are ready for it. I'm super, super excited for it. So I hope you guys are ready for it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.